back on the Ranchero. We'll be taking this bumper off today right there. I've got the, my uh, fire proof up because I'm going to have to use either the plasma cutter, plasma cutter or uh, grinder on this because they welded it to the frame. Uh, likely, most likely going to have to heat some bolts. Um, so anyway, we'll proceed. I'll just show you uh, what we're working on here. This is, uh, you know, I got the big light on so there's a bit of a shadow. So there's some welds here on the frame that have to come off. They're connected to this. I could just take the plasma cutter and snip it right off there. I've got the uh, time lapse set up on another, on the tripod, so you'll see me doing all this. Um, inside of here, there's some bolts. You won't be able to see them so much. Um, I didn't bring my light with me. But there's two bolts that will have to come off. One I started already, uh, both sides, the, the first ones, they've been started, so they won't be too bad. But then there'll be some cutting over here as well. All right, uh, like I said, I have the time lot set up. It'll capture what I'm doing, and I'll move it around as needed. All right, well, let's get her started. is isn't going to get done by itself, standing here looking at it. Inside brackets cut off there. I uh, started to cut the welds, but they welded on top and all the way around. So, or underneath rather, inside the frame on both sides. And uh, yeah, I don't need that little tab of metal, so I just cut them off. Um, so anyway, now we'll be going in here further. Um, it looks like they only had a bubble gum weld in there, so I think I'm going to tackle. Uh, you can see it there or not. Yeah, they got a weld in there. Uh, they don't look very solid. So I think I'm going to uh, cut the, uh, or take the bolts out and then tackle. See that one there is, is broke already. So I think I'll take the bolts out and see if the bumper will move. If not, I'll just cut the, I'll just cut this right off here. Slip it off and it'll be all good and this will be stuck up in there and I can take that down later but I think once I get the bumper loose this will twist off all right back to you when it's uh, ready to come off um, just so I'm here I, I use these uh, this is a turbo tor torch I can see it right there uh, I bought this in the 80s um, I used the map gas that was originally for just the blue bottles this is the map gas a little hotter and I found this works this works well for what I do. Um, yeah, there's times I'd like to have had an acetylene and oxygen. Um, but hey, I don't have 
and I don't use it enough to make it worthwhile and then I also use this and I find this works really well too once you heat it up and give it a squirt anyway let's get at her
Got all the bolts out. Um, this one's a tough one up in here. It's a lot tougher. I put one bolt back in just to hold the side. I don't think it's going to have a problem staying on. So now I'll take the the fire fire guard down, and I'll see if I can drop this somehow. I think there's only the two bolts in it. Man, that's what happens when you're dealing with rusty cars. All right, we'll see if we can get her down. Hang in there. Yeah, so I'm going to set the plasma cutter up, and I'm going to I can see this or not. Right in there, I'm going to snip this all off. I'll get it till it falls off if I have to. I was trying to save as much as I could, but I don't know, really know why. I like to work hard, I guess. Anyway, so I'm going to plasma it out until it falls off. All right, I'll see if I can set up the uh, time lapse for that. Okay, I'm all set up to uh, go at this with the plasma cutter. That one right here, it's a, it's a cut 50 DP uh, Samadre. Works pretty good. It, was, it wasn't expensive, it was a pretty cheap one. Um, anyway, so I'll, I got my uh, spark guard back up. I should have been using it when I was running the grinder, but hey, so I'm gonna get a pair of glasses on. Um, if I can find my glasses for this job and I'll get back at her. Hopefully this will take it off. All right.
the bumper sort of loose from everything else, but I think it's enough that I get it off. I don't think the license plate's gonna hold it on. So then I can take that inner, it seems to be holding it up. Man, they did not want this bumper to fall or the trailer hitch to come off, but that's good. Uh, I think they welded it in any place they can stick a electrode from a welding machine. Anyway, I'll take it off and we'll take a look at where it was sitting and we get back to you. All right, bumper is off. The old trailer hitch is off. That'll hit me in the head if I leave it up there. Um, whoo, turned around quick, sorry. Uh, a lot of mess. That's a little bit of dirt just from that. So I'll bring the light over and we'll have a look. And that'll be it for this video once we get a little peek at what's going on here. All right. Oh, there you go. So we got these to repair. Rust there. Obviously, like I said before, there's rust up in the... Uh, there, the tailgate's gonna have to come off now too. So these are easy to fix. That's easy stuff. Um, this is not hard to fix. It's just tight quarters. Uh, the mounts are there, so they're gonna have to come out of the way. That was a, a problem when I was heating up the bolts. Was those mounts? So they didn't. Uh, they didn't burn, but uh, I had to stay away from them best I could. But they're right, it was right between the two bolts. And you couldn't take the front, the rear bolt out without taking the front bolt out because it's with the way I had to do it because the cages both broke, which I expected. So now there's some clean up on the frame to do. Uh, like I said, it's a great hoist, but it's just a little bit too short for me. <laughs> uh, my head's like I can stand straight up as long as my head's on my my chin's on my uh, chest. Uh, it's okay. You're not trying to video anything, but I do like it. All right, so that's that. Bumpers off. This will be the area that I work uh, on the rust repair. Um, but I believe I'm going to take off the uh, tailgate because what's going on here is I can see it very well. It's rusty on these upright supports, and you can see how the uh, uh, the sides have come in on it against the tailgate, so I'm gonna have to make a, a brace to cross brace that before I take the tailgate out And then uh, I'll, I'll put that back on the ground first I won't open the tailgate now to show you because I want to keep it held in place because uh, It seemed like on the ground it was fine But I don't know how it's gonna react with the weight, weight of it sitting on the hoist so further out But yeah, she's, she's not too too bad. I got that tail light out like I said it weighs man. They weigh a lot that's one heavy tail light. Let's have a look at it. They're uh, pitted and everything, so there you go. It's a pretty hefty looking tail light. Anyway, what I've been doing, uh, the guy that's been doing the uh, 66 Thunderbird convertible put me on to tagging everything, and I think that's a great idea. I did the tr uh, 79 pickup truck, and I'm still looking for parts. Uh, getting ahead of myself not recording where I'm putting stuff So this time I made a promise to myself to label it keep track of everything life will be much simpler and I didn't take the gas tank out only just to get this bumper off though. It was Pretty much required. I take the gas tank out of all of them because I don't want that hazard here It's bad enough. I got all these sparks flying around and I noticed I forgot to put my uh, spark guard back up my fire blanket last time so that's a no-no um, anyway so that's it and the bumper is off and I'll build a piece to cross brace the, uh, the the bed and we'll take the tailgate off next time thanks for watching subscribe if you like it if you don't um, just give me the thumbs down leave a comment good or bad I'm a big boy I can handle it 